Abigail. The past three years and eight months have been absolutely incredible. From sitting together in Poli Sci 101 to our first day at Sava's, you're a true gift from God, and I can't wait to be teammates for the rest of our lives. I'm so thankful for our journey to get to where we are today, and I can't wait for the next chapter of our love story, which we can see. Today, we will go from two individuals to one. I want you to know that I have never been more confident in anything in my entire life. I have prayed for you long before I met you, and now I wonder how I ever lived without you. I'm so excited to be your husband and so excited to have the opportunity to love, adore, serve, care for, and honor you every day for as long as we both shall live. In this box, you will find a watch that belonged to your father. I know how much it would comfort you to be wearing something of his today. This is um, his mom, Julie's wedding ring diamond made into a necklace. And he wanted me to wear it today. I know that our family in heaven will be celebrating our big day too. And I can't wait to imagine how proud they are. And how proud they are must be of you. When you wear this on your wrist today, know that dad and everyone else is with you. I love you, Abby. Can't wait to say I do in a few hours. Love. Austin. Oh, I love him so much. Well, today is, uh, it's already been the best day of my life. Just, just looking forward to what's to come in a few hours, and I can't wait to marry my best friend, and I can't wait to make it official. Laughter is the only thing that'll keep you sane. <laughs> In this world is crying more and more. This is what Scott told me. Austin is the best guy for Abigail on the planet. I have a peace that passes understanding because I know that there's someone who loves my daughter as much as I do. madness spinning round. You know, I want to think of one thing that, could, that really said a lot about their relationship. You know, when I think about it, it's, it's the fact that whenever I talk to them, and I always kind of have that feeling that I want to be with them, you know? I want to be around them. It's just a feeling that I get every time, and you know, I think it says so much about your relationship. Play on children like it's Christmas Day. Our freshman year in college, Abby reminded us of Austin's pretty public story and asked us to pray with her over his continued healing and his transition to the University of Michigan in the fall. Little did we know, we were praying for Abby's future husband. You're a symphony. I want you to live forever underneath the sky. Austin Hatch, you may kiss the bride. Austin, you're the most amazing person I have ever met. You are a living miracle and have such a story to share. But you are so much more than that. You are goofy, you are so strong, you are so crazy, and also the hungriest person I have ever met. Take courage when the road is long. Don't ever forget, you are never alone. The stories she shared about what an amazing person he was and how sweet he was to her made her light up like I've never seen before. And that was the exact moment when I knew he was the one. Underneath the sky so blue, I want you to live. Uh, growing up, I've always wanted a brother, and uh, he fit all the qualities of a brother, and he felt just like one until he kissed my sister. So, yeah.
So these are some of the things that you get by marrying my daughter. So you get her generosity, her kindness, her good humor, and her lion-heartedness, but you're stuck with waiting for Abby. And I don't know, I think she gets it from her mother. Rollin'. This is what all says. If I'm ever in a pinch, you know, tough day, I, let me know if I get this wrong. I won't, because I've heard it a hundred times. I can get, I can get any two or more medium one-topping pizzas for five ninety-nine each. So, seriously, Coach, thanks for mostly for bringing Austin to Ann Arbor to meet my daughter, and especially thanks for not coaching the Pistons. You're the most amazing person I have ever met. You're so many things that I strive to be. You're so strong and faithful and loving, and you fit perfectly into our crazy family. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little crazy sometimes. The best FaceTime call I've ever received was on April 28, 2017. Abby kept trying to call me, but I repeatedly denied her call because I was enjoying a Snoop Dogg concert in Nashville. <laughs> I also look forward to having a nephew in the NBA as well, eventually. Same. Same. Yep, maybe a few, you know? Yeah. This is what Scott told me. And when I met him, he was dating another girl on Abby's team. And I introduced myself and talked his ear off. I was thinking in my head, lose that girl and go for the tall one. That's my daughter. <laughs> Like when I close my eyes and don't even care if anyone sees So you can look at her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Trying to get my signals. <laughs> Kiss her once? Yeah, absolutely. 